So just to continue um, with the installation on the electronic boost controller, in this case the GeForce 3 um, boost controller. So there you can see the turbo and the uh, boost line going from that. Um, from that I teed into that with the brass fittings supplied with a boost controller um, it runs straight to the wastegate and the second T part uh, comes the second T part you can see the second T part comes to the three part boost controller and then uh, that line gets fed to the top part of the wastegate. Um, when it comes to the boost controller, there's no two stories about that. It is numbered uh, one, two, three. Uh, that's the way you would run it. It would feed in by one and uh, supply out um, by two. Uh, when it comes to the switch as well, where you plug it in, uh, the switch is numbered uh, one and two. One and two and as well as on the plug. And you can really see on the switch there is like a clip uh, so it's only going in one way and if you still want to mess it up further on the inside of the clip there is a slit uh, those two slits have to uh, meet into each other the wires I pulled through the firewall there at the back my sound wiring there through as well and that obviously goes to the car to the controller so remember from the turbo on the same vacuum um, same boost line from the turbo that goes to the wastegate you tee into that and that line uh, uh, tees off into the boost controller and from the boost controller back to the wastegate uh, this application is for the external wastegate uh, and that's how you would run it uh, another tip on the K20Z2 uh, for the uh, boost vacuum line you'd want to run uh, I previously ran my boost gauge I teed that into the boost line that went from the turbo to the wastegate uh, that's one way to get a boost reading, but it's not the recommended one. The recommended boost reading you'd want to get is from the manifold. In this case, the K20Z2 vacuum boost line uh, from the manifold and uh, same as the, way, uh, the throttle body. I used this vacuum line. Uh, this vacuum line runs to the lower valve. Uh, yeah, this vacuum line runs to a boost valve, and I'm gonna run the boost gauge. Uh, I'm gonna T into into that to get a proper reading what boost and vacuum I have in the manifold, not what's going on between the turbo and the wastegate. You'd want to know what's closest to the engine. Something else I learned afterwards. Uh, don't be shocked if you get a big minus 23 vacuum reading uh, that is correct uh, but check for the values for the boost values that that uh, corresponds with the boost setting you currently have so that's it for now on uh, the K20 turbo build I'll keep you guys updated with anything else I did uh, Remember to stay tuned, 
subscribe and like my channel and videos please uh, trying to get the word out the K20 Z2 guys and peace out